And now, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the judge. Supervisor, Mitaki Mihail. Lateral judge, Grosso Artur. Second lateral judge, Nani Mihai. Lateral referee, Ekim Oleg. Second lateral referee, Lupushor Dumitru. Third lateral referee, Suhan Yulian. Main referee, Grosso Andre. Arbitro de Cols, Chernoli of Danu. Arbitro de Cols, Krakvenko Andre. Timekeeper. Separdei Vladimir. And now, ladies and gentlemen, for the first fight of the evening, introducing first, in the blue corner, he's coming from Turkey. Make some noise for Gogol Chedi. Welcome back, everyone, to FIA Kickboxing Volume 27. My name is Daniel Austin here at ringside in Kishino, Moldova, in the Minaj Arena as we get set to kick off the FIA World Grand Prix. Tonight, we will continue to make history. Last event, we established a FIA World Heavyweight Champion. And tonight, one of these four men in these two semifinal matchups will walk out of this building the very first ever FIA Kickboxing Light Heavyweight Champion of the World. Could it be? This man approaching ringside right now, Gokhan Gedik of Turkey, now residing in the Netherlands. Gedik has a record of 15 and four, nine of those 15 wins by way of knockout, representing Mike's gym, one of the most well-known gyms in the world of kickboxing and trained under the careful eye, under the tutelage of the one and only Mike Passanier. He is the youngest fighter of the four participants in the tournament. And he does have one previous fight here in Moldova that was back in October of 2016, a loss to Danuk Purduk by decision after an extra round. Both of these guys should be familiar with the other. This is a rematch that took place several years ago. Since then, both fighters have had a number of different fights, and so who knows if they're still similar in style and in approach to the matchup and how they're preparing for this fight and for this tournament. And now introducing his opponent into the red corner. He's coming from Moldova. Make some noise for Alexandro Portuja. Take a look at this crowd. Sold out Menage Arena, as always here. Burduja, one of the biggest stars in Moldova in the 95 kilogram weight division. He's from here in Kishino, has a record of five and two in FIA kickboxing, 11 and seven overall. He said before the fight, I will do everything possible to keep the belt here in Moldova. And he was my personal pick to win the tournament and come out of here the first ever via kickboxing light heavyweight champion. I think he's got more motivation than any other fighter here. This is his home country. He loves his country. He loves via kickboxing and I think he's gonna do absolutely everything in his power to become the champion tonight. Presenting the blue quarter. Weighing 95 kilogram, height 1.86 meters. Having a personal record of 19 fights, 15 wins, and nine by knockout, and four losses. He's fighting for Turkey. Make some noise for Gokhan Kedi. Presenting the red corner. Weighing 95 kilogram, height 1.88 meters. Having a personal record of 18 fight, 11 wins, 3 by knockout, and 7 losses. 
He's fighting for Moldova. Make some noise for Alexandro Portuja. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the first semi-final fight under 95 kilogram, three minute, three round, extra one round, K1 rules. A referee in the ring, Suhan Yulian. Round one. Getty kind of hanging out in the blue corner there, right until the, the bell rang. This is our first of two semifinal matchups in the FIA Light Heavyweight Championship Grand Prix Tournament. For so long, so many years, FIA has been in very close cooperation and co-promoting with KOK, but now they're kind of sticking it out on their own, they are esta establishing their own stable of champions. We've already got a heavyweight champion as of last event. This October, Roman Kriklia. And now we go to the light heavyweight department. Well, this is a very dangerous game these two are playing right here. It's almost like a ticking time bomb between these two right now. They're standing right in front of each other, closing the distance very slowly. And then when they do strike, they put absolutely everything they have into those punches and kicks. Look at how quick Raduja strikes like a snake coming out of the grass. Like a cobra looking to bite, sink the venom into his opponent. Half the time gone by already. Ooh, wow, Perduja scored with a big shot upstairs to Getty. These two did fight uh, about two years ago, I believe, in Budapest. So they should be familiar with each other. Certainly, perhaps raising the level of caution between the two fighters as Getty gets another taste of what Borduja can dish out. Borduja mixing up his stance, sometimes coming forward, back and forth. Scores with the left hand, couldn't quite find the mark with the right. Look at the eyes of both guys so wide open, so focused. You can't afford to take your eyes off the prize for a split second. First guy who makes a mistake is gonna pay for it big time. Inside leg kick scoring from Verduja. That's one of his best weapons is those leg kicks. And if he kicks you anywhere, if he gets you upside the head, well, Verduja is sending a message there to Getty. If that's the best you got, then it ain't enough. Well, believe me, Gedik has the power as well. And, and in fact, Gedik has many more knockouts to his credit than does Borduja. End of round one. The finals as well yet to come. Round two. Touch of gloves and we are underway here. I tell you what, have you seen 
the championship belt yet. The richest prize in the FIA kickboxing 95 kilogram weight division up for grabs in this championship tournament. Arduja comes barreling in here. Low kick scores. Both guys very, very similar as far as physical statistics, fight records, everything almost right down the line here in this one. Both guys about the same age, there's only a year between them, about the same height, only one centimeter between them, and about the same record as well. You can see though, whoa, Getty finally pulls the trigger here in round two. You can see there's a difference though, physically between them. Borduja a little bit more chiseled and muscular. Very thick legs, thick thighs. Look at the legs on him. Like he's standing on two oak trees. But muscles don't always make a better fighter. Oh my! Oh! Look at this! Gokhan Kenny! Stumbling right back into the corner! And making hey, sure he's looking the referee you know right in the eyes. You How know on know earth did he recover right? from me? that? Good uh, lord! He, uh, he just got knocked into the middle of next week by Alexander Berduja. Still one minute left to go in round two. Berduja now closing in. Perhaps this is the beginning of the end for Getty. Berduja still taking his time here. I don't know if he can afford to take too long here. If he's got Getty hurt, he should go in for the kill and try to get this fight over with and make his way to the finals. Here he comes. He knows that Gedik is still dangerous though. He can't afford to make a mistake, not even at this point. Gedik now mixing it up. Gedik really getting aggressive in there. And he may still be a little bit loopy from that big shot he took. Good inside low kick there from Burduja. As I said from the onset of this matchup, you've just one mistake. You just make one mistake and that's what happens. Wow. Oh, oh my. Uh, FIA president, Doreen Damier, up on his feet shouting instructions to somebody. He was sitting on the edge of his seat that whole round. Another great shot of this massive crowd in this sold out Menage Arena in Kishino. Look at that shot. Came right over the top, I believe. And Getty nearly went out of the ring. Sent him stumbling into the corner and I think he got clotheslined on the bottom rope. Look at this. Oh. That right hand of Burduja is like a stick of dynamite. Round the three, final round. Third and final round here. Somebody is gonna advance to the finals and to the championship matchup. Burduja obviously ahead on the cards now due to that knockdown. Ooh, Gedik though popped him with a jab on the way in. And now it looks like he's attempting to apply a guillotine choke. Uh, referee Julian Suhan laying down the law here and very stern reprimand of both fighters. I think he's about a half a second away from busting out the yellow card. Let's look at Borduja closing in 
Looking to load up on that right hand again. Lightning quick low kick there. Goes in from the Moldovan. And one from the other side now. Getty firing back. You can see he's still got some power left too. I think Borduja is getting a little bit overzealous here and he's getting frustrated from Getty. He can't afford to let that happen. He's got to keep the positive vibes going here. Stay focused and do what he came here to do. Getty almost just staying put, just waiting for Berduja to explode. The big shot could come at any moment, so when you've got two guys just standing in front of each other like that, just waiting for the other to pull the trigger, you gotta have lightning quick reflexes to be able to react, and look at this explosion. Arduza again, changing stances, showing some movement when he gets closer. Getty, with one minute left, needs to come up with something big here. He needs to pull the trigger. Whoa, he just did. If he could get a knockdown here of Borduja, it would certainly change the landscape of this fight tremendously. Crowd coming alive here in Kishino. Getty lands a good right hand. Still the second semifinal matchup coming up directly after this one. Mikhail Tiruterno. Whoa! Set to take on Samir Baukidos. With the winner facing whoever wins this one. Time slipping away here. 10 second hammer goes down. That fires up Getty. Couple of seconds left for him. White slipping through his fingers and that is it. Yuka with the knockdown should be enough to seal the deal and punch his ticket to the finals. Take a look at what happened in round number three. It was, uh, well, Getty got rattled earlier in the fight, and I thought that uh, he just starting to make his way back into the fight in round number three, but by that time, it was probably already a foregone conclusion. I would expect Borduja to be announced the winner by unanimous decision. Look at that head kick. <laughs> Borduja sending a message to Getty afterwards. And we will send it up to ringside and Mike Diamonds to make it official. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the winner is, by unanimous decision, for the red corner, make some noise for Alexander Bush.